So here we have, after what seems like a millennia of waiting, the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, I'm guessing is the name, official teaser for the movie that's coming out soon enough. And I've said before, as I'm, I'm just happy to see Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice again. You know, I love the movie. I, I still love it. Whenever I go over take care of june and it's on tv i have to watch it i just i love that movie it's so dark and 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 you know it's got that tim burton style to it but it's funny it's it's such a good movie and michael keaton as beetlejuice and we've been hearing about beetlejuice 2 for like ages now but we actually have a trailer apparently uh to, to go with it um I saw a picture. I'm guessing it's from the trailer. Um, despite the fact that, you know, Michael Keaton is, is obviously older. Uh, it, he is, he is Beetlejuice. Uh, and I, I can't imagine another actor who could possibly do that role, but we're going to watch this real fast. It's only a minute and, minute and 16 seconds. So, Let's turn up the juice and see what shakes loose. is loose. Okay, so you you could see by the smile. I I love I if you've seen the movie, you know uh just to see uh Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder back as Lydia. Just like, it's almost like they, they kind of obscure his face just enough. You know, it it looks like how Beetlejuice was. But then you see like this up close and you, you can kind of tell how old Michael Keaton is. You know, you got the wrinkles. Um, and it, it's still funny that this makeup, even back then, I think it got like a, like an award for makeup design even now it, it still looks great you know it's so it's like cheesy at this point because you know you gotta remember that movie was like 1988 and we're in 2024 and you know clearly they could be doing you know cg and like you know using ai to like de-age him but no it's like the man's older it's just let his wrinkles show you know beetlejuice is supposed to be you know however old uh so just but uh, the 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 suit it's just also who I'm guessing it was Charles. Charles was uh, Delia's husband, and they show the thing going down. And obviously, I think for certain reasons, uh, he's not he wasn't going to be in this movie. Uh, again, for certain reasons, um. Yeah, you can see it, it's, it looks like, yeah. So I'm guessing her dad dies. Um, and this is what we're seeing. We're seeing the funeral for her dad. Um, and Winona Ryder for, was she, 40s, 50 something now? I mean, the hair is kind of weird. She's still got the Lydia hair, but, you know. And, uh. Jenna Ortega. 
I mean, this woman doesn't seem to really age at all. Catherine O'Hara. She's 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 great. Um and I think what's his name? I can't remember his name, but Otho, the uh the actor who played Otho, I think unfortunately died a while ago. Um I would have loved to see him. He was like one of my favorite characters in the movie. Um But it's just the town, the the school that we see Lydia at at the end, you know, the Michannon School for Girls. Um we see the bridge that the Maitlands die on. I also love how they have like speed limit now and clearance and trying to make it as safe as possible. Um this beautiful overhead shot. Uh Very nice overhead shot. Just this very this overhead sweeping shot. Um, school for girls, which is because they all have. I'm assuming that's after school or on or day off because they all wear uniforms. Unless Jenna Ortega once again is playing I'm the rebel, uh, as she tends to do. Uh, but I'm assuming this is like not at school or like a day off or you know weekend or something. Uh, from the mind of Tim Burton. So we see uh, Charles's uh, funeral. So Lydia's dad dies. The attic. And it, it makes me wonder what happened to the Maitlands then? Because they're ghosts. And apparently they stay in that house for 100 years or so. Clearly 100 years hasn't passed. So I'm I'm assuming that's going to be... I mean, because Gina Davis and uh, Alec Baldwin are still alive and well. Um, so I hope that it's, if they are here, it is, you know, if the, it might be a cameo or it might explain why they're not there anymore. They decided to move on or something like that. Because I think that was a possibility of moving on. Um, Jenna Ortega with that face she does all the time. But just the the model... You know, Adam's model. It, it's. And then you got the sign for Beetlejuice. Honestly, at this part, I was honestly expecting what happened in the movie. You know, the little thing come out with attention, all Kmart shoppers. And you see the little Jack. Uh, skull kind of sitting there, which is where he got the inspiration for Jack. And then we see the man himself, which I like. I don't really like sequels that much, but because this is such a beloved character, I love Michael Keaton. I love the character of Beetlejuice, Tim Burton. It's not like, oh, we're going to pass it off to someone else. It's Tim Burton. Uh, so I'm really hoping it's going to be given the love, the respect that it deserves as a sequel. Um, I hope these characters stay true to how they originally were. But if it's Tim Burton, you know they will. Because it'd be stupid for Lydia to be one way and then all of a sudden she's an, uh, something else. You know, her mom, I still expect to have that very snarky sarcastic you know you know response to things and that attitude she has i i expect that to be how it is you know beetlejuice it's michael keaton he knows the character he's not going to change it because that's what we loved about beetlejuice in the first place and for some reason he looks like johnny depp right here you know you just slap the bearded you know the braided goatee on him and some dreads and he looks like Johnny Depp um you know as Jack uh but it very soon very soon uh I'm hopefully I will get to have a chance to see it in theaters um but it I really hope that they stick true to what made Beetlejuice special in the first place. A lot of practical effects. 
you know, back then there was a lot of practical effects. There was a lot of stop motion animation and it just made it feel very surreal. Very, it was very special. And while obviously there's some CG going on, I hope Tim Burton realizes that what made his, the first one so special was that it was practical for the most part. You know, the stop motion made it again, very surreal, very otherworldly. Um, and that when people see this, it's okay to still use practical effects. I mean, just because it's 2024 and you can use a lot of CGI doesn't mean you should. Um, I, I look forward to seeing all the, you know, ghosts and ghouls and apparitions with their very unique looks. So, you know, when you see, um, when they're sitting in the, the waiting room and you see all these people sitting there and how unique they look, the, the guy smoking, he's like shriveled and just blackened the guy sitting there with his the shark on him. And it, they were so unique and they're memorable. The, the, the guy with the shrunken head. I mean, everyone remembers that. Um, and it was, it was just special because it was practical effects. And that I just, I, I just hope for that. Um, and I, I really hope that Jenna Ortega's character isn't just, Jenna Ortega, because she's got like this, this character that she constantly does over and over. And a lot of actors, unfortunately, are like that, where it's like, oh, yeah, she's the, the, the wild, rebellious kind of girl. And then she's in another movie and it's rebellious. It's the same character. Um, so I really hope she's not the same character that we've seen her in, in so many other roles. Um, but uh, who knows? But again, I hope the Maitlands, like their disappearance, if they are not in this movie, I hope it's explained why. Not just a, oh yeah, we're going to have a Beetlejuice 2 and we're still in the Maitlands house and we saw them perfectly fine at the end of the, the, the first movie. You know, they're living alongside uh, the Dietzes and now they're just gone and <laughs> We're not going to explain it. No, I hope it's explained. I hope they have some kind of cameo or something that, you know, maybe at the end. Um, do I hope it goes past two video, uh, two movies? Not really. You know, but the fact is that it was the first one's Beetlejuice. The second one's called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So naturally, you think there's going to be a third. So, you know, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, which, uh, if they do, um, I would hope that is some sort of uh kind of like a climactic all hell breaks loose sort of movie where beetlejuice kind of fully does emerge and is able to escape into our world um because that's what he wants he wants to escape you know the world he's in the the, the style you know whatever he's living in he wants to escape it and so maybe by in the third movie with it having titled beetlejuice 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 maybe that's him finally escaping but he considers hell or whatever and finally making it into the real world where he still has all his powers and this and that, and he's able to cause havoc. And there's really not much anyone can do to stop him at that time until they find some other, other worldly super powerful weapon dated back to ancient times that used back then to, to seal off spirits and some other bull crap. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm looking forward to it. I love Michael Keaton. I love Beetlejuice. Catherine O'Hara, just beautiful as always. She just never seems to age. Uh, Winona Ryder, great to see her. You know, I loved her character as Lydia. Uh, Jenna Ortega, again, I hope she's not just the same character that we always see her as. Um, I do hope, you know, Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin do make some kind of cameo in the movie. Um, hopefully giving some kind of like in honor to anyone who is in the movie, uh, who no longer with us. Like I said, Otho, that character is, is, is the actor died, but I hope they have some kind of mention or a picture just to say, Hey, remember this guy, you know, he was what made the first one so special too. Um, but anyway, 14 minutes, 50, I, I could talk all day about this, about Beetlejuice. It's just, it's just such a great movie. Um, but let me know what you think in the movie, what you hope to see in this, in this sequel. If you hope 
for uh beel juice beel juice beel juice uh like a trilogy type thing um did you see it in theaters in what 1988 when it came out um yeah let me know anyway that's gonna do for me you guys know the drill i'll see you guys later bye guys